and welcome back to TechStack channel. Today we'll try to explore one more new concept. So I'm having the one Excel file. So in this Excel file, I have the multiple data here, and you can observe this couple of uh, data is not available here. So it's having some blanks out there. So here the concept is I need to take this data and create one more new sheet and update this data here. So let me copy that data again here. Update this data here. Similarly, we need to create for the rest of the things. So if you have three sheets, we need to create for the three sheets. If you have one sheet, we need to create for only for the one sheet. If you have 10 sheets, similar way we need to create for the 10 sheets. So now I'm deleting all these, these sheets and I will go back to the UiPath Studio and we'll try to export how it will work. So I'm saving this data. I'm back to the UiPath Studio. Here I need to take this. First of all, we need to read the Excel data now. So for that, I am taking read range workbook activity. And here I need to take this path. After this path, I need the sheet name. So I think here I make it as data. Okay. Data sheet. So this is done. Now I will go to the properties and here I will create the one data table. So with the name of Excel data table. So after that, I will take one message box. I want to see the data, how it's look like. So just I will keep one message box here and I will update check. So let me close this Excel file and I will run this uh, bot. Okay, data has been read. So now I will take a variable pass here so we can see this here so all the data are k now let me check the count rows dot count so we have the 25 let me open this i think it's 25 only so this is a header so we don't want to consider the header so we have 25 so now let me close this one and let me stop this bot again So here I will take for each, for each row data table. And here I will pass this Excel data table. After that, we need to check this condition. For that, I'm taking if condition. Let me drag and drop the if condition. So in this condition, I need to keep current row of 0 0.2 string not equals to black. So if it is not equal to blank, then update the data. So let me take before that we need to create one sheet. So first of all, we don't know how many sheets are available or not. So we just read the data. After that, I will declare one sample sheet. So I will take one assign activity here. So in this assign, I will take create one more variable which name called sheet name. So initially I will declare as sheet one. This is done. So the next step is we need to update the data. So for that, I will take right cell activity. So let me take this path. Okay, path is done. After that, uh, I have sheet name. So let me pass the variable sheet name and the content. So here I will take current row of zero dot two string so this is done similar way i need to create for all thing and here the data should be up updated on the a1 cell so later i will change this uh, variable so let me take for another things so this is for one and here data applicable for the b And this is for two, and the cell is for C. So one side condition is done. So here we need to take one more variable, which we call counter variable. So let me declare one more variable. 
I will make it as temp counter. So in this, I will declare one. We go to that variable panel. <clears throat> And I will just check the scope of okay, scope of supplies are done. Let me change the variable type integer. So this is done. So let me take as n here plus temp counter dot to string. And I will update for all the things. And just I will change here b. And for the final one as well. So this is done. So after that, I need to increment on the downside. Let me go and update here. Now just I will run this bot and we'll check. So how output is coming. So later we go switch to the multiple conditions. So the bot run has been completed. I'm going to the Excel file. Let me open the Excel file. So okay, in the sheet one data has been created and uh, the header is not there. So let me uh, check for header as well. Okay, this will, let me check so here names. Okay, for this one. Okay, this is fine. So if you want the headers, then go to this retained workbook activity and go to the properties. Just remove this, uh, uncheck this add, add headers. So now I just save it and I will run this bot again and we'll see the headers will be added. So let me go back to that Excel file and let me open and go into the sheet one so we can see the add the headers. So the headers has been done for the three tables. So now the next step is we need to split. So we'll check how it will works here. So now we check here. So equals to blank or not. So that is fine. After that, we need to show else condition. So if it is blank, then what it need to know, it need to create one more sheet. So let me assign the sheet name. So let me take here and as in so i have assigned the sheet name so here i will what i will do now i will take one more incrementary here so let me take sheet assign one variable so this is variable only for the sheet counter so i created sheet counter let me make it as initially it will move i will take two or else you can take and downside you can update the one anything is fine let me change this string to integer variable type so this is done so once you updated the sheet name is equals to two then later what we need to know we need to increment this so let me sheet counter plus one so it's keep on changing the sheet names that's fine after that once you created the sheet name then it won't come to inside of this one so for that i will take one more as an variable let me make it sheet status so let me change the scope of variable here where is the scope of variable in this uh, variable i will make it as sheet created okay now sheet is created so before sheet is created now, so I will check here one more condition, if condition. I will make it as if. And I will drag and drop to here. So if here sheet status not equals to this one. So if sheet status not equals to this one, then it will try to create a new sheet. So let me put this all the things into in this sequence. So now what I, I will did here, the first step here, it will check whether data having blank or not. Before that, we just created the one sheet. So make it a sheet name one. So it's created, it will update the all the data here. So it is done. So now what it will, it will came to the second condition. So it will equals to blank. So if it is blank, then it will come to this uh, sequence. So whether first of all, it will check whether sheet status is equals to sheet created or not. If it is created, then it won't come to again and again. 
Why? Because every time it will coming inside, na, then every time it will change. So right now it should create the sheet two. If it is coming again, it will go to sheet three. So for that purpose, I checking before the condition. So sheet counter dot two string. So this is done. So now just it will check sheet if it is created, then it won't come to inside. If not created, then it will come inside and it will change. So similar way we need to create here. So let me take this as a variable and I will update here. So sheet not created, I will make it here. Not created. So this is fine. So now all the things is done. So one step is missing here. So this temp counter is here. No? So we need to change this temp counter to one again. So let me copy this and I will put in inside this. So now all the steps have been satisfied. So let me try to run before running this bot. I will just delete the sheets here. So let me delete this sheet here. I'm saving this bot and I will run this bot. So as of now, I will go with the all at once. So this is done. I'm going back with the sheets again and let me open the sheets here. And if you go here, the data is updated successfully. And I go to the sheet two. data has been updated successfully and sheet three. So this is the one of the method which I followed is in the loops. So they have, I mean, we have the multiple methods are there. So you can try from your end. And if you have any doubts on this while trying different methods, just comment on the comment section. I will try to explain the concept. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, make sure to hit that like button, share with your friends, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to turn off notifications so you never miss an upload.